and in this video i am going to talk about uh, hoodie timeline in order to understand hoodie you should uh, very clear about the hoodie timeline concept so let's try to understand this so hoodie timeline at its core you can say hoodie maintains whatever the actions you are going to perform and whatever the events it's going to happen on the hoodie tables it actually records all of the things uh, in a form of timeline so you can say like uh, 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 it all actions performs on the table at different instant of time that helps provide instantaneous views of the table so due to that because at any instant what are the state of the table it it is going to save as a timeline and by that it is enabling you to view uh, the table at any instant of time what was the state of the table right and also uh, it's uh, supporting retrieval of data in order of arrival how the data arrives actually in in that uh, sequence also it's supporting the retrieval of data and uh, the timeline uh, co uh, consists of the the hoodie instant basically consists of the following components so one is called instant action means the type of actions performed on the table uh, either you can say insert absurd or delete instant time at what time means in a timestamp format suppose this is the example at this time at this timestamp uh, what was the actions uh, 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 happened right so it records that that what at what time what happened and a state current state of the uh, action means like uh, what is it is it in process it is completed or it is requested so those kind of states it try to uh, record in a in an instant okay so basically it's a hoodie maintains a timeline of all the actions performs on the table at different instant of time right uh, moving further also hoodie guarantees that the action performed on the timeline are atomic and timeline consistent based on the instant type what does that mean means hoodie guarantees you the all the transactions you are perform, performing on each timeline is atomic what does that atomic means atomic means uh, in a database it's a very important concept means let's say you are doing a uh, transactions in a single transaction you are doing three to four operations right uh, so what atom what atomics what atomic says whether it should every every events in the transaction let's say every operations in the transaction should happen or none should happen basically just give you a layman example let's say uh, there is a uh, there is a bank account right i i have i i want to transfer some amount of let's say uh, 5 uh, 10 rupees to my uh, friend so there are two types of uh, in a single transaction we are doing two operations means first the account should be debited from my account and the account should be credited to the friend's account also so what does it mean so but if let's say if there is a no automaticity automaticity only the like transactions uh, there is a money debited from my side but there is no credit from the my friend the friend side so the data is uh, will be go in the air right so uh, it will be in the hung state so what is the meaning of atomicity is here whether all the transactions should happen or none should happen means the money debited from my account it should be credited also if nothing has been happened no debit no credit like right? no debit from my account no credit to the friend's account so that's what the meaning of atomicity here so that's what the hoodie guarantees use and the actions uh, uh hoodie uh, the key actions performed include what are the actions basically uh, hoodie performs right uh, on a timeline so it could be commit means uh, commit demo uh, a commit denotes like uh, when you are trying to uh, write write data uh, into a hoodie uh, table so that is called actual commit cleans means some of the background activity used to keep like let's say there is a lot of versions created and you don't want to uh, keep the old version so it will like uh, uh, start deleting or get rid of those all the versions which are not longer needed delta commit delta commit like uh, it's refers to for this uh, merge on read table where what happens like uh, uh, what what are the incremental data you are going to write the the latest data you are going to write it is arriving into the log files so like so that is called <clears throat> delta commit Compaction means it is again for this like uh, merge on read table in in merge on read table what happens so whatever the delta data you are whatever the data is changing so it's the delta data is getting uh, right into the logs file compaction means when you are merging the base file with the logs file means the delta file delta data 
and creating a new version of that particular uh, uh, particular uh, file right so now that particular file now the latest base file after merging or after compaction have the latest data right so that's what the compaction mean drawback means uh, it indicates that a commit delta commit was unsuccessful means uh, it indicates that this action uh, was like uh, a rollback call means uh, you have to like uh, rollback uh, to your uh, original state and you have to any in between if you any produced any partial files you need to just get rid of that right save point uh, it marks like certain file groups as saved means uh, when there is a cleaner right so let's say uh cleaner uh, wants to uh, clean the older ones older versions of the data but you don't but you want certain uh, versions to be always be present always be reside on the hoodie data set side so for that you you have to mark those particular file groups as a safe safe point means as a saved so that when the cleaner uh, will run it will not delete them right and also it helps to restore the table to a point on the timeline in case of any disaster recovery scenarios though this is the uh, normal like uh, the what are the instant states it could be it could be requested it could be in flight it could be completed requested means it's already scheduled uh, but has not initiated in flight means it's in in process right it's in being performed completed means uh, complete completion of an action on the timeline right Let's uh, try to understand this uh, 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 timeline um, diagram. What happens actually? So let's say uh, these are the like uh, you can say like uh, the partitions or folders. You can say let's say every one hour uh, for every one hour uh, data which is coming, I am I am partitioning based upon every hour, right? So let's say at seven. Uh, from 7 a.m. to uh, 7:59 a.m., the data will go here. From 7 a from 8 a.m. to 8 8:59 a.m., it will go to this uh, folder. So this is basically partitioning based upon uh, each uh, each hour of interval, right? So let's say uh, uh, right now that this uh, upsurge of the data is happening between every means arrived between 10:15, 10, 10:20, 10, like every five minutes data is arriving. But so. A hoodie table roughly uh, means example of a source upsets happening between 10 and 20 and a hoodie table roughly every five minutes leaving commit metadata on the hoodie timelines means every five minutes actually commit is happening along with the other background activity like cleaning and cop actions so here the one key observations i want to make you here is like commit always indicates the arrival time let's say the there is two two concept uh, two type of concepts here event time and arrival time let's the at the time 9 am some data changed happen right so that was the event time at the at this time like at the 9 am the data got changed but in the hoodie data set site it reached at 10 at 20 you can say so that is called arrival time so event time and arrival time so hoodie maintains the timeline based upon the arrival time right so i will just give you example here <clears throat> the the it's very uh, important observation here to make that let's say the commit in arrival of the data let's say data is arriving at the 10 20 am but while the actual data organization reflects the actual time or event time that uh, the data was intended for let's say data is coming at 10 20 but actual it, it is actually late data it should go the data was actually 7 am data is not reaching late at 10 20 so hoodie what it will do the data changes means whatever the upset is happening it is not going to change in the uh, folder or partition in, at, at the after 10 am it will decide based upon the event time so event time is let's say 7 am because it's a running uh, late running data so it will go and update in that file only but in a timeline it will save as 10 20 means Arrival time is 10.20 but the data was actually intended for at 7 a.m. Right? So these are two, so these are basically trade-offs between latency and completeness of data. Latency means you are saying that okay, data is arriving late but your data is, uh, even the data is arriving late but you are keeping your record up to date. Means your 7 a.m. record up to date, right? Uh, when the, whenever there is a late arriving data means data let's say let's say data is intended for 9 am 
but arriving greater than one hour late means 10 20 it is arriving we can see that upset producing new data into even older time bucket so it will do and go to the data produced in the older time bucket not in the latest time bucket right and when you fire a query incremental query i want to see right what is the uh, data uh, since 10 am so it's not like that it is going to leave the data so it will go and based upon the timeline commit time okay even though the data was intended for 9 am but it reached at 10 20 am but i want to show this latent information to the user right so that's how uh, the hoodie is designed that's what it is written here with the help of timeline an incremental query attempted to get all the new data that was committed successfully since 10 hours is able to very efficiently consume only the changed files without say scanning all the time buckets so even the data was like it go to the 7 am folder but i am firing query the data consumed since greater than 10 so it is not going to scan all the tables it 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 because it uh, record everything in the timeline right it knows that okay it was the event time but it was arrival time okay this was the this at this arrival time uh, this is the event time happened so this is the latest data so it will show you okay so this is the very important concept and that's all for this video uh, thanks for watching